It's Pete, aka Houseborn from Houseborn's World, and in an impromptu video for tonight, I'm going to bring you the Forza Motorsport 7 demo. Um, I was going to bring some more project cars live stream today, but this morning I faffed about that much with the graphics and settings and spent a whole lot of day testing and messing about. I was all project car 2 out. I will bring another live stream, it's probably going to be tomorrow now instead of today. Um, while I was uh, eating my tea earlier, I had a ping up from another channel, Gamer Muscle, and he actually uh, gave a quick review of Forza Motorsport 7 demo, and that gave me the idea to, I wanted to have a quick play on it. I was interested, because I used to love the Forza series, I've always uh, previously was well into Forza, but I played it up to Forza 4, give up on Forza 5 because that was going to be on the Xbox One which was a half-baked PC and I didn't want to have a half-baked PC so I went back to PC gaming. And So here we are, Forza Motorsport 7 on the PC. And to be honest, I followed very much from a distance because I imagine it's going to be like Forza Apex. I had Forza Apex and I gave it a go and it's what you expect really. I'm sat here on the set here with a pad because I'm not going to, even though Forza Apex at the time had no wheel support, I wouldn't entertain playing it with a wheel. The physics are bad and I, I don't you know, I don't come knocking Forza, Forza was good for what it was, but now I'm getting into Project Cars and Project Cars 2 and Assetto Corsa. I've moved on, I've moved up a level and I just, I can't play games like this. I, mean, I can, for fun, but when I'm playing them, I just, no, it, it's not there. Um, I'll go back a second, sorry, I'm, I'm jumping into it, so I've already had a quick look at this earlier. In the demo, you've got three challenges. You've got the Nismo GTR, the GT car. You've got a Mercedes-Benz racing truck. And you've got the Porsche 911 GT2 RS. We'll, we'll kick off with the truck, because I'm all up for a bit of truck racing. Now, something I've noticed, I've tried this earlier, the loading times on this demo are real bad. If the game's anything like this, it's terrible. Now, so I suppose you can make your own avatar or person in the game, but why am I a woman? All right. For tonight then, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be a woman. Um, I quite like that pink, but I'm not a woman, so... Let's go with the most unwoman like looking stuff. Nice bit of leather there. So we go for that. Um, and at this point, again, it's it's loading, it's loading, it's like. I mean, don't get me wrong, some racing games take a short while to load the track and the cars and everything. But, actually, it's loading quick this time. Whether it's because I was on it earlier, I have no idea, but that seems to have cashed it like quicker. Probably because I'm sat here talking to you guys. Uh, assist, so I've got it on Veteran, so I'm using the gears, braking line only. Um, really should turn it off, to be honest, but driver tire difficulty, we're just going to put on highly skilled. Um, let's get into it. Now, I love Magello, I love this circuit. Um, actually, it'd be nice if it was in Project Cars 2. Yeah, and we're in. Now, Forza is sort of a game that you can take a bit less seriously than the simulation races. Should be on the brakes there. Let's see if we can squeeze through the path. There's a lot of uh, bashing of trucks going on here. Yeah. We are playing truck bumper cars. 
I say that's alright. The truck racing does anyhow. We'll move on to the others in a minute. Oh, it's a great to be over there. Talking away. And yeah, so it looks alright. Uh, these trucks they look believable. They seem to go on the track alright. Let me squeeze it, it's a bit cheeky. Let me squeeze the pants in there. Have the outside line of it. Now I've got to say, we control that. Alright, it's not an Xbox One controller, it's just a 360 controller. It doesn't really give me any feedback at all. I just feel like I'm guiding something around on the screen. I've got a bit of rumble going on, but I don't really feel like I'm involved with it. Um, I just, like I say, I feel like I'm just guiding something around on the screen. I mean, there's interaction playing the game, but it's not like using a wheel, that's for sure. So you notice this here, as my truck go a giant turbo or something, why am I able to catch him and overtake him so easily? Um, perhaps it's because of the avatar difficulty, not avatar, the, um, the opponent difficulty I put on. Is it avatar? No, it's not avatar. I've got drive avatar. That's it. Uh, we're around the mall anyway, put it that way. It's a nice chill out game, it's um, I say chill out, when I used to play Forza, I used to take it so, so seriously, and I wouldn't say it's easy, everyone who in the sim racing world seems to write things out for, oh that's arcade, it's easy, I actually don't think they are, like anything, any game, you have to get used to it, and unless you've got unnatural godly talent, You've got to put effort in to be any good at it. Now, I wouldn't say the learning curve on this is high, but I certainly know from experience to be very, very good at it, you've got to be good and you've got to put the effort in. So, I'd never knock Forza in the sense that so oh, it's arcade, it's crap, it's easy. It's like the kiddies in the world, you know, it's rubbish. People who do that, I think you really do misunderstand. Um, for immersion, for realism, I'm not getting it with get this pack. I know this track very well from a set of Forza and Forza previously, and it doesn't feel like I'm driving it, to be fair. It feels like there's no interaction at all. I'm just sort of guiding the truck round. Yeah, I'm changing gear, uh, but no, it's, it's, it's not, at the moment it's not pushing my buttons, I, I wouldn't race to come back to this at all. Um, so yeah, so we won the race, and now it's going to throw at us, it was the best racing game at E-Frame, games can and blah blah blah, oh do you want to buy it? No thank you, not this, win the driver's cup, that's the real. I didn't see this earlier. So, 
can they sneak this one in like because it didn't do this earlier maybe I was pushing buttons I don't know right there we go and then it shows us like you know all the packs and that right moving swiftly on I'm going to do the Porsche and then we'll move on to the Nissan so the Porsche yeah that is the Porsche it's almost like playing Need for Speed. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Uh, this tries to give you a different perspective now. Um, gives you a shot outside the car. It's, I don't like that angle, to be honest. I'd rather be in the car. Um, I know in sim racing, a lot of people drive the car from outside to get the top time trial times because you can see more of what the car's doing. Personally, I've never like that, I've always gone for the cockpit view. Um, the assist, this time I think I'm getting a cold or something in my throat. Well, not my throat, but just my voice. I, f I feel like I'm gunged up. Uh, braking only, ABS is on. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to leave it off. Let's just leave it off. Let's accept that. And when it's loaded, that's how loading times are a long, long time. Come on, right, we're in. So, you get the idea that it's loaded, it flicks up the track. Right, let's start the race. So, I think it was the back of the This cockpit view, I actually think the other cars look a bit cartoony. Sounds alright, I'd say it's not bad in that department. But I had this on the outside view earlier, and it's just like. It's just like old school Gran Turismo, like old it's just revving the engine on smoking the tyres, very neat for speed. It doesn't seem like I'm really. Power down, but I always think that's one of the downfalls of playing with a trigger and that mind, arcade mindset is mash the front and the go and it's not so much like that. It's, you, get, you do have to modulate the front. I mean, look at that, it's just... I feel like I'm Ken Block at the minute. I mean, a Porsche GT2 RS is a damn fast car, and I'm sure you might be able to spin the wheels up, but I'm sure you drift it around the bodies. Which I wrote earlier. I was going to put the traction control on to uh, alleviate this part, but I'll see how it is. Uh, a lot of people would have liked me to cut the Falls Horizon, Blanny Falls Horizon. It's just this point that I couldn't get Falls Horizon either because that is arcade. Oh, 
lies, but... Plays well, gotta give it that. It's, it's doing what it does, it's not glitching out. Uh, we're alright. <laughs> Nearly caught them on the cars. Up. So, we're on to the last discipline the GT3 racing. I've got to disagree, I really don't think it's the best race in the game. Come on. What I don't want to do is click the run button and have it take me to buy the game. So, there we go. Back. Right, let's do the last one then. The uh, Nissan. Now, this is disappointing. I've got to say. I don't quite know how they've put this together and done this, but way behind Project Cars 2 and the live track 3. Ooh, we've actually got a blow this time. Let's fire that suit up there. Um, assist. For this, I didn't have it on earlier. I'm going to put traction control on purely because it's absolutely terrible. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. In this race, to me, the cars look so cartoony, it's unbelievable. And when the rain's hitting the screen, it looks... Do you remember on old PCs and old, like, I don't know, at school, where they simulate you going through space and you see dots flying at you? With no disrespect, Forza, and Turn 10, and Dan Greenwell, and all that, the rain on this is crap. Compared to Project Cars 2, it's really poor. Uh, Alright, this might be a demo. Perhaps I might get it a bit better, I don't know. But what I'll show you in a minute. It, it, I think it's bad. Right. So here we go. See how the car, to me, the cars look cartoony. They don't look like they're on the track. Uh, we are at the uh, launch 
Chief Grand Prix Circuit, just for your uh, information. I mean, again, it's all like very, very teeny, very doom, 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 doom. I mean, it's nice that it's 24 cars in the field. Oh, here comes the ray. <laughs> you watch the ray coming on the screen. Wait till it's crashing into my churches right now. It just looks, just reminds me of like. You know, like dots appearing on the screen, like flying through space. Especially as you start moving forward at higher speed. when I was playing it 
quite a few years ago. Um, 231, the best lap. Yeah, that's what's good for about 13. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm not knocking it. It might be your bag. I like I said, I've moved on from it. Personally, I couldn't buy it, so I couldn't play it. It, it would annoy me too much. Uh, I couldn't put aside the, the just the crapness, and I wouldn't even attempt this with a wheel. I can see playing it, what the physics are like. It's just no. Nah. Looks nice, it's shiny, but I'm definitely going to give this a miss. Um, thank you for providing the demo for us to have a look at, but no, not for me. Okay, hopefully I'm going to see you tomorrow with a live stream for Project Cars 2. We'll get some proper racing on. Alright, cheers for that. See you in the next one.